Hey guys, this is Paintball RTG, and that stands for Paintball Reviews, Tests, and Giveaway. So this is my first video, and I'm going to be reviewing my Zone Blitz. It's an electronic marker. I got it for around $169 on DiscountPaintball.com. It has eyes right there, and right there. It has a twisting style clamping feed neck. It has a standard removable bolt right there and sorry I just have to sorry, just that and then if you can see in there you might not be able to see it okay well you can't really see it but it's like in there there's two little screws to adjust it um this is where you turn it on you turn it on by holding the, or clicking that button twice, and then it's in safe, and then you click it again, then it's in semi, See? and when it's blinking, that means the eyes are malfunctioning, because you don't have any paintballs in there. Um, t and then, yeah, you can change the mode, there's PSP ramping 13.1 balls per second, PSP ramping, uh, 11 balls per second and PS and CFOA semi. I don't really know what that means, so if you could tell me, that would be awesome. And then I'm gonna just move my bipod to get everything in. Okay, so sorry, I have to move a little bit. Next, going on to the barrel. This is the barrel. It's it. It's a point six eight five or six eight six eight three barrel. Um, it's eleven inches long. It's terrible. You'll have a ton of barrel breaks, and it it's not very accurate. And yeah, it's just an all around really bad barrel. But the gun is very high quality, so I would recommend that if you if you end up buying this gun. Sorry. If you end up buying the Azode and Blitz, I would recommend you getting a new barrel. Um, it doesn't have to be any special barrel, just a barrel with auto cocker threads. Um, let me see what else. There is a adjustable uh, feet per second or velocity adjuster right there in the bottom of the that my camera focus. Sorry, I have a bad camera. Okay, but like you can't really see it in there. Well, there you can. You put an Allen key in there and you pull it out to make it more feet per second, or twist it in to make it less. And also right there in the back, there's another adjuster. You, it's the same thing as the other one. You have it back for uh, more velocity, in for less. And I have it in so because I don't want to waste very much air. So yeah, overall, shoot, okay, overall, it is a really, really, really good gun, um, yeah, it works well, shoots well, um, yeah, make another video soon, thanks, comment, rate, subscribe, and also, if you want me to do a review on any certain gun, I'll do it, if you want me to do a review on any certain hopper, I'll do it. And if you want me to do a review on any certain, like, tank or anything, I'll do it. Thanks, comment, rate, and subscribe.